Hi, my name is Francisco Faro and I'm a master student in engineering physics at Instituto Superior Technic in Lisbon. And I'm currently doing my master thesis with Professor João Silva and Jorge Romão at the Centro de Física Teórica de Partículas. In this work, we will be studying a model that goes beyond the standard model, the three Higgs dobot model with type Z Yukawa couplings. The standard model of particle physics is the gauge theory that describes electromagnetic, weak and strong interactions of quarks and leptons. It is one of the greatest intellectual achievements of the humankind since it is extremely successful at describing all the direct laboratory measurements of how the fundamental particles behave and interact with each other. One way of testing the theory is by colliding particles at high energies through the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, the largest and most complex machine ever built and the one which made possible to discover the famous Higgs boson in 2012. The standard model contains the force carriers, a single Higgs boson and martyr particles, which are organized into one of three families of leptons or into one of three families of quarks. The Higgs boson has a crucial role in the masses of the particles since it's through the Higgs vacuum expectation value, the value around which the Higgs oscillates, that all the fundamental particles gain their masses. This is the so-called Higgs mechanism. However, cosmological evidences show that the standard model does not explain the matter, antimatter asymmetry in the universe, nor the origin of dark matter. Let's pause a second. But I've previously said that the standard model is compatible with all the direct laboratory measurements, so how important are those cosmological issues? Well, without the matter, antimatter asymmetry we would not be here. In fact, no one would be here. The universe would not be made of matter, and on large cosmological scales, there will be just energy floating around. Ok, so we really have to tackle this issue, but what about dark matter? Assuming that we have solved the first issue, and that the universe has the correct amount of matter, then the universe on large cosmological scales would be very different from what we see today. There would be no large cosmological structures, such as galaxy clusters or even galaxies. Indeed, this special type of matter is responsible for pulling things together, through large-scale gravitating interactions. Dark matter is so important that it accounts for 85% of the matter in the universe, just the remaining 15 are the things that we see, such as planets, stars and galaxies. As scientists we must devise and construct new models that are compatible with all the experimental results and extend the standard model features in such a way that enables some of the open problems to be answered. In this work, we will study two more Higgs families, that is, we will be studying a 3 Higgs doublet model and discover its physical implications. The first model with more than one Higgs family was proposed by T.D. Lee in 1973 as a possible source for the matter antimatter asymmetry in the universe. He noticed that if one constructs a theory with more than one Higgs family, in his case a 2 Higgs doublet model, the matter antimatter asymmetry can appear explicitly or spontaneously. As it was already proposed, the model has been excluded, but later contributions show that the 2x robot model has some interesting features. In the standard model, there is only one way of giving masses to the matter particles. This is done through the Higgs mechanism and the so-called Yukawa couplings, the terms that couple the Higgs to the three types of massive matter particles, the uptype quarks, the downtype quarks and the charged leptons. However, with two Higgs families, there are four ways of coupling the Higgs to the massive matter particles. There is, there are four types of Yukawa couplings. The type 1, the type 2, the type X, and the type Y. In our case, we will be studying a model with three Higgs families, so there is a fifth type of Yukawa couplings, the type Z. In a sense, the type Z is new since it's never been studied, but apart from that, why should we care about it? Well, one can hope that it offers viable sources for the matter antimatter symmetry in the universe, but to be truly sure, we have to study this model and see what secrets it might be hiding. On the other hand, we'll try to solve open problems that exist in theories with three Higgs families, and if we are successful, that will enable other scientists to further study models type 1, 2, X and Y and see under which conditions their models give the correct amount of dark matter in the universe.